was a rough night. You all right? When I heard Akatsu was shot, I just froze. All I could think was, what if something happened to salary san Couldn't spare a thought for us? Well, we're glad everyone's safe. Yeah, but... Soma got the jump on us. He's a bigger threat than we thought. What do you mean by that? We think he's working undercover for public security. Undercover? It's a new development. I'm sure it puts a damper on Genda-sensei and Hoshino-kun's big night out. Huh? Well, uh... I only showed up because Hoshino-kun talked me into it. You said you wanted to see what it was like in there, too! Did I really? Hmm. I don't recall that. Incredible. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to go change. To put it lightly, looks like you guys are in for the cold shoulder for a while. Interesting. If what you say is true, a public security agent is scooping up thugs into RK. Yeah, and his name's Kazuki Soma. We haven't confirmed it yet. But if he really is an undercover agent, then everything starts to make sense. Public security gets to use RK as their pawns, who feed them intel from the streets. All those scumbags are just working for public security without even knowing it. But that setup is exactly what let Soma and RK grow so successful in the first place. For example, I'm sure the guys who killed Akatsu are RK, but they were definitely decked out in real police gear. Soma's role in public security would make getting that gear easy. If that's true, we can't trust anyone in uniform now. Should we be concerned about the police downstairs? Don't worry. They're here thanks to Mafia. All things considered. Can't the police do anything about Soma? Well, according to public security, there's no one by that name on record. So that's a dead end. They must have wiped him from their files already. Soma had to have been in the Tojo clan for ten years minimum. He and Akutsu were both in the Nikyo Consortium. Higashi knows more about that stuff than me, though. Okay. We'll ask him about it tomorrow, then. Hmm. Sounds good. I'll reach out to Higashi. We can meet at Charles tomorrow. Hopefully to get some sort of lead on Soma. Stay down.
いらっしゃいませありがとうございましたいらっしゃいませありがとうございました。Yagamishi, this is Tsukumo. We have a problem. The Yokohama Liumang were attacked this morning. What? Attacked by who? RK. They've been boosting their numbers in Ijinsho. They're probably hunting Kawana. Fortunately, he seems to have escaped them. But he's gone completely off the grid again. How bad was it for the Liumang? Several are wounded, according to Tesosan. Did any of them see Soma during the attack? I haven't heard for certain. All I know is that it was total chaos. I see. Okay. What's the plan, Yagamishi? I'm gonna dig into Soma's past. I feel like there's something there. Could you keep trying, Kuana? Your wish is my command. See you. What's up, Doc? Uh, sorry, folks. My shift's starting. One of you take over. Oh, I'll do it, Kaito! Great. Don't forget to block. Got it? I won't. Oh, man. You're a rock star to these kids. <laughs> Crazy, right? You should see Higashi with them, though. Really? Higashi-san, 
Yagami Sensei is here for you. Lose that Sensei shit, you idiot. No honorifics for assholes. Uh, in that case, that Yagami asshole is here for you. Talk about its emotion. Right. Well, I do know a thing or two about Soma's Tojo clan days. He swore under the Nikio Consortium, a direct family. The Nikio Consortium was a pretty big deal. Even if they did bite the dust with the main family. Right. Among them, Soma and Akutsu were both looking like officer candidates. Apparently, the Nikio's role in the family was to handle off-the-record dirty work. No matter how much they raked in, the higher-ups took their cut and left a mess. Those two got hung out to dry, basically. Nevertheless, they sucked it up and hoped they'd be the ones on top someday. But, as you know, the Tojo clan got hit hard, disbanding before they ever even got their shot. They devoted years to the family, all to get nothing in return. I'd be willing to buy that for Akutsu. But if Kaito-san is right, Soma was working the Tojo clan from the inside for public security. That's how he knew sooner than anyone else that the Tojo was on the way out. Being undercover, he could see the writing on the wall and plan accordingly. That's why he founded the criminal network RK, so he could gather up and monitor all the ex yakuza at once. Okay, now that you mention it, RK has been dipping into the shady side of Kamurocho. They're strong-arming anyone who acts without their blessing first. You want to do shady shit? You need an RK permit these days. Yeah. That's why the Soma's an undercover agent theory makes sense to me. If we find a concrete link between him and public security, then we'll know for sure. Higashi, who might have known Soma back then? Someone with authority would know how he joined the Tojo clan. Well, let's see. Would the Nikio president work? President? Not Patriarch? Same shit. His name's Irie. But whatever kind of boss he was then, now he's just another champion district drunk. I have some questions for him. Once I have the link between Soma and public security, it'll all fall into place. I don't know, man. You want to meet him, knock yourself out. He spends his days at a joint called Earth Angel. Gotcha. I'll come with you, Tark. What is it? Here we are, the former head of the Nikyo's local haunt. He just gets plastered here all day? <laughs> Damn, the lucky son of a bitch. President Irie. Uh-huh. Uh, my name is Kaito. I used to be in the Matsugane family. Matsugane? Ah, oh, one of his boys, huh? You knew my boss? He was your classic old school Yakuza. He had duty, a dignity, but he couldn't earn. <laughs> yeah, maybe he was the lucky one, dying before he became whatever I am now. Would you mind if we asked you a few questions? This is my partner, Yagami. He's a civvy, but he was like family to the boss. It's a pleasure. So, what do you want to ask? Could you tell us about Kazuki Soma? 
You might know him as head of RK now. <laughs> so, uh -huh. Joined the family when he was just a little sprat. Harry's quite the big shot now. Let me buy you a drink. Mind if I join you here? Our lieutenant scouted out some back in the day. He'd heard some kid was flushing his money away in one of our casinos. Turned out the kid was sweet-talking ladies into handing him their money. Yeah. Sounds like a model Yakuza candidate. You mean Kamrocho's old underground casino? Yeah, that was one of ours. <laughs> yeah, cops would keep shutting them down and we keep building more. What made you ask Soma to join the family? Was he the one who initially approached you? I think so. He was pretty attached to that lieutenant I mentioned before. Soma had no problem following orders, but he had a natural authority to him, too. Makes for a damn good Yakuza. Of course, a violent streak is the other half of the equation. Say, before he joined up, how much digging did you really do on Soma? What's that supposed to mean? You checked his background and everything, right? Well, I'm sure we did our homework. It's not like that was my responsibility. Irie-san, there's a chance Soma was working for public security the whole time. What did you say? Considering he may have been undercover from the start, does anything strike you as strange now? Maybe some suspicious behavior or contacts with people you didn't know? No, I have no idea. The thought never even crossed my mind. He took some really risky gigs. You didn't hear this from me, but he even took at least one hit job. A hit job? Some time back. And there was this punk who ratted us out to the cops. And the higher-ups ordered Soma to kidnap the guy and bury him in the mountains. He handled it so well, people were kind of creeped out. Like, it wasn't his first time. At least, I remember Akutsu telling me that. I already got killed last night. <laughs> Word travels fast. Who'd you hear it from? <laughs> oh, darkness runs deep in this city. Never assume you're the only ones in the know. Akatsu just realized last night that Soma is an undercover public security agent. That's why he was silenced. Sure, but what's it matter? At this point, I don't give a shit if Soma's undercover. The family's dead and gone now. What happened to everyone else after you shut down the consortium? Half of them went legit. Some of them went and joined the sixth chairman for his new deal. I guess the rest crawled back underground. The Greener family boys all got invited to RK. So it's none of your concern that your former family is being manipulated by public security? <laughs> Those guys don't even come to see me during bone season or New Year's. They're just spoiled brats now. An arrogant group of thugs. Family my ass. All this talk's making my drink taste like shit. I guess the young ones nowadays are pretty wrapped up in themselves. To be fair, though, I don't know anybody who'd want to waste their time with a gloomy drunk. How about we grab a bite together when you sober up? Because if this is really the fate of the Tojo clan's patriarchs, no way those of us who work to make it big are going to live it down. Sorry for that. In Kaito-san's old life, becoming a direct family was their biggest dream. When he looks at you, he sees what Matsugane-san might have been if things had been different. 
Anyway, thank you very much for your time. Hey, you know the Misawa building on North Senryo Avenue? It's got a gambling den with a decent Chohan setup. Gambling den? Yeah, I've actually been there before. What about it? It's run by this group originally from Rapongi. Now R.K. is saying they're owed a piece of the pie. R.K. really is putting the pressure on the Kamrocho underground, huh? Yeah, but the Rapongi crew won't pay up. So I hear R.K. is gonna come down hard on their place tonight. They wanna make an example out of him. Put some guys in the hospital. Maybe even the morgue. Wait, are you saying Soma might be there tonight? <laughs> Who knows? The ones running tonight's show are ex-Tojo. The top dogs of RK showing the newbies how it's done. Who'd you hear this from? <laughs> what did I say before? Don't assume you guys are the only ones who know everything. <laughs> I appreciate the lesson. What else is there to say, Tak? RK is raiding a gambling den tonight. Remember that tatami room we got acquainted with? Apparently, the people running the room won't pay Soma's gang a cut. So someone there is gonna have some answers. Maybe even Soma himself. Yeah. I think it's worth checking out. All right. Sounds like we should hit up Higashi, too. What is it? We might be right on time. Yeah. Yagami! Anaki! What the hell's going on? It's RK. They've got ex-Tojo members running a raid here. Why? Supposedly the out-of-towners running it won't pay RK off. And there's even a chance Soma's here. It's a surprising amount of context. Right. Now let's get in there. Whoa. Let's hit it. Stop! We just customers! Shut the fuck up, you little shit! Hey, got a minute? Huh? There's still more of you! I know that face. Dude was famous in the Tojo clan. For being a maniac. And there's more like him in here too? Is Soma here with you? Tell me where he is. Enough with your mouth! Stay down. No telling where Soma or his arcade goons are at. Gotta keep our eyes open. Ah! <sighs> it's 
too damn dark to see what's around here. Yeah, but there's no way this is a dead end. Should be a way to get the lights on, right? Let's start looking. Hey. Oh, that's more like it. Nice and bright. Hmm. Oh, what have we here? A door with a passcode. Interesting. Hope they don't think this sort of thing's enough to stop us, eh, Tuck? Yo, guessing this is the door we gotta deal with. Just gotta figure out the passcode. Hey, what are we gonna do about this? We might find clues somewhere else. Let's check out this floor. Whoa. Let's hit it. Got a minute to chat? Please, just leave me alone! Oh, I will, don't worry. All I need is the passcode for the door up ahead. Zero five zero eight... Or wait, was it... Eight zero one zero? Come on, get a grip. Well, I guess I can try both. Either zero five zero eight... Or eight zero one zero, huh? Better not forget. Zero five zero eight or eight zero one zero, right? Yeah, I'll give it a shot. Huh? Did you put it in right? Should be zero five zero eight or eight zero one. Zero five. Yeah. Nice. There's gotta be a way upstairs somewhere around here. I'm gonna go look. You two wait here, okay? Yeah. Go handle business talk.
I thought we took them all out! Crap. You better get ready! How's it looking? Hey, just made it to the rooftop and dealt with RK. But you guys are gonna have a hell of a time trying to climb up here. Let me look for another way. Cool. Then we'll wait here a bit longer. Kicked my ass. Yagami, how the hell did you get all the way up here with your bare hands? Hey, you hear that? More of those guys might be hiding around here. And when we find them, we kill them! Yeah! Got it! What's your call? You taking them down? Yeah. We can take these guys together. Whoa, 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 hang on. That guy in front of the stairs might call for backup. And if that happens, Soma might slip away. I'm gonna have to go stealth on these guys. Go do your thing. We'll jump in if shit hits the fan. Alright, let's go.
That's a good boy. Kaito-san, I'm in kind of a tight spot. Mind giving me a hand? What you need, Doc? I'm almost there, but RK's got me kind of pinned down. Can you try to lure him away somehow? Leave it to me. I'll figure something out. Appreciate it. Fighting? What are they screaming for? Well, Doc, worked like a charm, wouldn't you say? Yeah, that was impressive stuff, Kaito-san. Thanks for the assist. That's a good boy. <sighs> Made it through somehow. Hell yeah! <laughs> the 
to Tommy rooms downstairs. Soma might be there, so we gotta stay on our toes. Let's roll that up. Kill me! Huh? Isn't that Kosuke kun, right? <laughs> you never learn, do you? Don't tell me you're here with some poor girl's money again. I'm not! I swear I'm not! You're Kaito from the Matsugani family, right? Oh, look who else is famous. What are you doing here? You join RK too? <laughs> Dumbass. Don't lump me in with scum like you. Are you the one who put this raid together? What about Soma? Is he not coming? <laughs> you just stepped in some shit you're gonna regret. Hey! He's got backup! <sighs> Tons of lowlifes, but no Soma. Coming here sure did a fat lot of good. You got this, Yagami Detective Agency! Please save my life! At least we can say we saved fucking Kosuke Kun. You know that guy? Lucky him. He's about to get his head split like a melon. Hey! Take care of the latecomers. Then we're done here. Ready? Let's go! Sumoto san I must say, I didn't expect you to invite me here directly. What led you to change your mind? I hope this means I can expect a favorable response. I'm thinking it's time to put an end to this. To what, pray tell? This self-serving black hole of collusion. 
And how do you plan to do that? By turning myself into the police. <sighs> As you may have suspected, I murdered Shinya Kawai. For what he did to Mitsuru, I did it with my own hands. The same day he was abducted in Kamrucho, five years ago, Kitakata Sensei was my accomplice. If you do that, you'll be branded just another killer. That would be quite a fall from grace, considering just how much you've turned the health ministry around. I'd suggest reconsidering that. We can protect your secret for you. And in exchange, I'll have to do as I'm instructed, correct? As with any organization, our government works within a set of constraints. Everyone has their own opinion of what they believe is best for this country. And only once common ground is established, can progress truly be made. However, you've already forged quite a path of progress on your own. Reforming the health ministry, cracking down on embezzlement and dirty dealings. I promise you, both myself and many others respect such accomplishments. <sighs> However, if Reiko Kusumoto were to go from vice minister to murderer, all those achievements would go up in smoke. In fact, the fallout could allow for even worse corruption to take root. As I'm sure you agree, to our country's detriment. <sighs> Everyone who lives has their secrets. If you just let us take care of yours, you can have the peace of mind you deserve. They'll stay buried, deep in the dark. And therein lies the problem. Sawa-san was the only classmate who never stopped coming to see Mitsuru. I was the one who drove her away from my son. Even though she was the only person at that school who never gave up on him. <sighs> I couldn't control my desire for revenge. A good woman lost her life because of that. And now everyone wants to pretend like she never even existed. No better than back then. Mitsuru's classmates pushed him over the edge and didn't look back. I don't care what you say. I'm going to turn myself in. I only regret not doing it sooner. Sawa-san wouldn't have had to die. <laughs> Well, it turns out you're more naive than I thought. More so than I could have planned against. You still won. You should consider it a victory that I have to resign from my post. When it comes down to it, I'm sure that was your end goal. But you just got too greedy. You thought putting the squeeze on me would net you 160 trillion yen in pensions? Well, that's all going up in smoke. When I turn myself in, that'll be a lost cause. Now scurry off and inform your handlers. Despite all my efforts, it seems you were more of an immovable object than I was an unstoppable force. Well, you can't reason with someone willing to lose, especially if losing means burning it all down. So, is that all of them? Yeah. Pretty tough for a bunch of gangbangers. <laughs> Come on, Aniki. Why don't you take the bench for a bit? You're still on the men. Shut the hell up. Whoa. The guy running the game here brought in as many heavy hitters as he could. But RK had so many ex-Yakuza, this place never had a chance. And you guys managed to take them all down. 
Unbelievable. That's not really why we came, though. You sure you didn't see RK's leader, Soma, anywhere? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he wasn't here. I see. So we did all this work for nothing. The... Uh, you sure you really want to find that guy? If that's the case, I heard some RK members say Soma's giving his orders from Ijincho. Aha. Uh -huh. Then maybe he's been searching for Kuwana over there this whole time. Speaking of which, Tesso's place got raided just this morning. RK was looking for Kuwana. Although, I'm not sure Soma was there either. Well then, sounds like we're done in Kamurocho for now. Should we go back to Ijincho tomorrow? If we meet up with Kuwana somehow, I'm sure Soma will show eventually. Yeah, let's do that. Stay down.
いらっしゃいませスタービング I'm starting to feel it Pretty tasty, thanks ありがとうございましたヤガミシ。Hey, you alone? Where's Sugiura? He's out asking around about Kuwana-san. Although ever since he skipped out on the Liomong spot, we haven't found a single trace of him anywhere. We're not even positive he's still in Ijincho. Is that right? Rare to see you in a rut. Maybe we didn't need to rush over here. Did Tesso reach out to you at all? No. All of Ijincho's basically been at a dead stop since you last left. I heard Soma's been running RK from somewhere in Ijincho. Yes, but we haven't been able to pinpoint his exact location. I see. That explains the dead stop.
What a waste. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございます。That you? <laughs> I'll send someone to bring you to me. So you really are still in the Jincho? Yeah, but we don't want RK or public security joining us. Make sure you're not being followed first. Shake any tails you might have. How? <laughs> you should know that one by now, Mr. Detective. Get to Sawakun's apartment once you know you're good. Her apartment? Yeah. Later. Guys, hey, bro. Awfully quiet here today, man. I heard our case swept through here. Yeah, they sent two of our guys to the hospital. Busted them up, sort of bad. Before we knew it, we were outnumbered. Took one step outside, and it was like we were in another city. Do you think they were after Kuana? Oh, no doubt about it. He managed to escape, but we don't know where to. 
He reached out to me not too long ago. I'm on my way to see him, actually. You serious? Yeah, but if I went straight there, I'd be leading RK right to him. Gotta slip past anyone tailing me first. Huh, <laughs> right. So that's why you came. Here I was, thinking you were checking on your Aniki. Well, that too, but... Help me out here. Got any secret tunnels around here? You know, for... Gang stuff? Gang stuff? Well, I figured if you did, I could give RK the slip. You with me? That would be pretty sweet, yeah. So you have one or not? Actually, we do. After all, we've got gang stuff to handle. Come on, follow me. Thanks, man. Here we are. Our own little escape route. Guana probably used this when he booked it. Escape route is a sewer? We keep it pretty clean, actually. <laughs> you smell any shit? Oh, you're right. Follow it to the end and you'll get out at Fukutoku Park. Now this here's for emergencies only, so don't go blabbing about it. Hey, you got it. Though, I think I should disguise myself before I head down. There's no way RK could pick up my tail if I come out of here looking totally different. Good thinking. <laughs> I like your style. Dang, looking sharp. You do this a lot, don't you? <laughs> I guess I'm pretty good at it by now. Okay, ready to hop in? It's a straight path, but it's dark down there. I could guide you if you want. Nah, eh, I'm fine. Besides, Kiwana probably still feels bad about getting your place raided. <laughs> if that's true, tell him that I don't see it that way for me. RK's the only ones on my shit list right now. I'm booting their asses out of Ijincho for good. I'm sure he'll be happy to hear it. Thanks again. Really, guys?
Nice outfit, Yagami-san. Akaike-kun. You really are wrapped around Kawana's finger, aren't you? Please, just get in. I'll take you to Sensei. Just you today? Or your classmates? Beats me. Seems like he doesn't need much help today. Oh. This is that boat they converted into a museum, right? Yeah, but it's empty around this time. And Sensei doesn't plan on sticking around. Oh, is Kwana fleeing to his next little hiding spot after this? <laughs> That's a question for Sensei, not me. Yo! Sorry to make you come all the way out here. Being a wanted man sucks. Pretty sweet digs for a wanted man. Hey, this place has all the escape routes I could ever need. No one around to get caught in the crossfire, either. Funny time to start caring about how your actions affect others. Akaike, mind giving me and Yagami-san some space? Go ahead, Yagami-san. I feel awful for dragging Tesso into this. RK only trashed his place because I was there. Those damn thugs really don't give a rat's ass about the Leo Mong. It's public security who doesn't give a rat's ass. There's nowhere in Japan you can escape them. By the way, there's a good chance Soma's an undercover public security agent, ever since his Tojo clan days. He's public security? Yeah. If we can drag him out of whatever hole he's in, we might find out who's at the very top of this. And until the truth is exposed, he'll be hunted forever. Well, that's concerning. Sawa-sensei's murder, Mikoshiba's murder. Everything has to come to light. And in a way that public security can't sweep it under the rug, I think Ahara's appeal hearing is going to be the perfect time to expose it all. When you say expose it all, you mean Kusumoto-san too, right? I won't lift a finger to betray her. This conversation is pointless. Even if that's what killed Sawa-sensei? Because there is a point. Your judgment's just too clouded to see it. Do you really know what Mitsuru was like 13 years ago? Then you have no right to speak to me that way. I'm facing the reality of bullying head-on. The rest of the world is content to turn a blind eye to the problem. Our whole society. They make a show of it when a kid commits suicide. But nothing changes about the reasons why. And every time, some bully with tears in his eyes always has the exact same line. I had no idea they would ever kill themselves. Yeah. They have no idea how their cruelty affects the person on the receiving end. You know why? Because they've never suffered. They don't know what it means to feel unsafe. I take care of that. I show them how much they've taken their safety for granted. Their actions need to have consequences. Even if they don't realize until it's too late. Koana. As we speak, there are kids out there fearing that they have to go to school tomorrow. Like Mitsuru. Every kid like him deserves justice. So I had to become what I am to see it done. I know exactly what you're saying, all too well. In fact, I know so well that it scares me. But if you let your sense of justice guide you totally unchecked, you'll eventually lose control and end up in a pretty dark place. You'll rationalize the sacrifices, whatever justice takes. For example, Sawa Sensei's death at the hands of Soma. Enough! Real justice has nothing to fear from the truth. Otherwise, you wouldn't turn away. So come on. Until you and Reiko Kusumoto turn yourselves in, public security won't give up. Don't you get it? 
If you end up caught by them now, you're gonna disappear for good. Yeah. It would be a good time to disappear. What? I'll do it on my own terms, though. Public security won't find me. I knew the day would come that I'd have to trigger my exit strategy. It pays to have underground connections. Oh, you think you'll be that easy, do you? I'm sure you know. A serial killer can't hide. Right. Every person that I've murdered deserved what they had coming. I won't stop doing it. There's dirty work to be done. And I don't mind being society's handyman. Whatever it takes. Thirteen years ago when Mitsuru jumped off that roof, I knew I'd spend the rest of my life atoning. It's the only way I can think of that will give Mitsuru what I didn't give him then. I don't really care what becomes of me either. I owe him. And I'm going to finish what I started. Okay. So why'd you bring me out here then? You seem pretty set. Were you hoping I was gonna pat you on the back for it? Hardly. I wouldn't expect a guy who drew his line in the sand to suddenly come around. But... Maybe that's exactly why I spilled my guts to you in the first place. What do you mean? Ehara-san should be the one carrying this thing. I hate to ask, but would you mind passing it along? You're the only one I can trust with it now. Isn't this... Toshiro? That locket has my final message to Ehara-san in it. I was supposed to help him get justice for his son, but I'm not going to be able to see it through. Well, I guess the rest is up to him. As soon as I'm out of here, my face and my name are going to have to be changed. Were you thinking I was just going to watch as you walked away? <laughs> you really going to make this a dramatic breakup? Stop it. I'm not going to back down on this. Years ago, a girl died because I didn't chase the truth to the end. Her name was Emi Terasawa, and I'll never forget her. Murderers tend to follow a rule. They have no problem killing again to protect their secrets. That's you, Reiko Kusamoto. It's still gonna apply. Called it, I suppose. I half knew that you would pull this shit instead of saying goodbye. If you run, I won't chase you. There may be a trail of death in your wake, but in court, I'd have nothing that would stick. Even if I brought you down, the only thing that'd keep you from escaping are the bars of a jail cell. So what now, then? Until you finally realize that you need to turn yourself in, I'll need to be persuasive. For you, Reiko Kusamoto, I firmly believe that the two of you can still be saved. <laughs> I swear. How the hell could they have figured out where we'd be? Listen up! Kitakata-sensei stays alive. As for Yagami, if killing him means he doesn't escape, that's fine. I made sure I wasn't tailed on the way here. We both did. Neither of us could have led them out here. I know for damn sure we're too careful for that to happen. That means there's only one guy they could have tailed to find us. It was a Kaike. Public security figured out that there's a connection between me and him. Are you aware of the implications of that? Is figuring that out right now really all that important? It's Kusumoto-san. She knows him. She's the only connection between me and Akaike. What? I'm saying Kusumoto-san decided to sell me out. Something happened that caused her to change her mind. Public security, I guess. Remember earlier? Didn't you say something about this ship having a bunch of escape routes? A bunch of escape routes great for a party of one. Fine. Why are you still here? Well, 
I thought you wanted to persuade me. I admit, I was interested in hearing you spin some more of your bullshit. <laughs> you got it. Now I'll have time to think. What is the holdup? Hurry up and take them. Yo, these guys have a whole bag of tricks up their sleeves. Take out their legs so they can't run. Looks like they finally upgraded us to the RK Big Shots. Yeah. But they're gonna be sorry they messed with us all the same. Oh, 
we really struggling to take out two guys? RK is going to be a joke if this keeps up. I thought you boys were the Tojo clan's finest. Your work really shouldn't be an embarrassment. It's about time for plan B, huh? You saying you've got another trick up your sleeve? Yeah, but it kind of sucks, so I wouldn't get your hopes up. Hey, Lana! You're not going anywhere. Got to get off me! Stop! There's nowhere to run! Lana! Soma's ties to public security may lead to his undoing. By seizing the puppet himself, Yagami seeks to pull down the puppet master holding the strings. To do so, he forms a temporary alliance with the fugitive Kuana. But Soma arrives to carve a bloody path into a hideaway no one should know about. Reiko Kusumoto's betrayal has proven more volatile than anyone could have guessed. Genda Sensei, they're calling last night's bombing a terrorist attack. The body they recovered was burnt beyond recognition. That was a Kaike kun, right? The one Yagami mentioned? Yes, I believe so. Nothing about Soma or RK in the article either. Could public security be tampering with the press? I wouldn't give public security that much credit. Besides, if a bomb goes off in a deserted public place, it's only natural for the police to assume it's terrorism. Right. I guess when you put it that way. Unfortunately, even if they do identify a Kaike-kun, the ones responsible are Kawana and Soma, two guys who are totally off the grid. Any investigation would grind to a halt, probably end up as another unsolved mystery. If the public learned the bombing was tied to Ihara's battery case, Jaws would hit the floor. Yeah. Anyway, where's Yagami? You heard from him since last night? No. We've been in touch via email, though. He's on his way to a hospital now. Great. What'd he get himself into now? If he's actually going to the hospital, does that mean it's serious? Don't worry, he's fine. He's just going to meet with someone about the case. Who'd want to meet up at a hospital? Reiko Kusumoto. There 
13 years. I still can't believe it. Waking up and finding out you're suddenly 30. Take your time. You'll adjust eventually. Work again? I won't be long. I just need to take a quick meeting. Now put down that mirror already. Oh. So, you sold Kwan out to public security because Mitsurakun woke up. Does that about sum it up? <sighs> you waited 13 years for Mitsurakun to wake up. If you turn yourself in now, you'd lose him all over again. There's that. Yes. Going forward, he needs to stand on his own two feet and rebuild his life. It'll take time. And lots of it. There's no real end in sight. He's at a disadvantage as it is. And to brand him the child of a murderer on top of that... I couldn't. This change everything? I think you may want to reconsider what you told me, Kusumoro-san. Alone, I'm sure you could have lived with the weight of your choice. But... <laughs> now you have something you'd sacrifice everything to protect. He's so precious. But he's also so fragile he can come crashing down without even a warning. You're going to have to be his shield, Kusumoru-san. We'll do it together. With your cooperation. <laughs> I have to do what I can to protect him. I suppose so, but... You covered up your crimes and it was Sawa-sensei who got caught in the crossfire. On top of that, Akaike-kun's throat was slit last night. Now he's dead too. Kawano will be another body for the pile soon. Hell, maybe I'm in trouble myself. How was he yesterday? Well, as soon as RK showed up for him, he knew you'd stabbed him in the back. I can't really say how that made him feel. Until now, he'd been adamant about ensuring you stayed out of this. He said no one could blame you for what you did to Shinya Kawai. Kawana put his life on the line for you. You failed to silence him, and you let him get away. That means whatever happens next, it's his move. And whatever he does to you, out of my business. As for me, I have no evidence on Kawai's murder, so you're off my list too. I only came here today because I wanted to know why you betrayed Kuwana. That's all. I hope Mitsurakun has a speedy recovery. <sighs>